Hey everybody, this is John Hiley, Mike Toledo, Vince D'Alessandro, and Daniel Grom with PDR Tool Time. And we are here today with Eric and John from Mobile Tech RX. So go ahead, Mike, and let's go ahead and kick our intro. Hey, hey, hey. Say, say, kids, what time is it? PDR Tool, tool, tool Time. All right, you guys know what time it is. So um, we are going to be talking about an interesting tool today. We're going to be talking about a tool that makes your business look professional. We're going to be talking about a tool that makes your life easy. We're going to be talking about a tool that takes care of all of your mobile invoicing. So anyhow, I just want to introduce John and Eric here today and uh, on this special edition of PDR Tool Time. How you guys doing? Great guys, how are you? <laughs> good guys. We're doing good. That's your that's your clue to say something. <laughs> right, 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 right. You know, hey, and just a heads up with the audience there, we actually got uh, John and Eric on. They're on a cell phone right now uh, with the connection to our podcast, so you might hear them cut in and out and things like that. But we're going to try to make this interview as clean as possible. So. We're really hoping that we can generate one out here that we can launch to our podcasting community. And uh, just a heads up, y'all, if you get a chance, um, jump on PDR Tool Time, our podcast, and leave us a review. We just love reading them reviews. And every other show, we're going to go ahead and announce all the new people that have left us a review. So anyhow, y'all out there, we greatly appreciate it. So anyhow, John and Eric, what's going on, fellas? Oh, just over here in, in the Dallas-Fort Worth zone, beating on as many hail cars as we can and meeting as many customers as we can. Nice. Man, I, you guys, I, I've been looking at social media and on Facebook, and, man, it got hammered, didn't it? Oh, yeah, some of that stuff down around Wiley area is just crazy. Uh, I'm up in McKinney. And it's uh, we're a little softer up here. We don't have near as near as much carnage. Yeah, I heard you went about six hundred million dollars. So what what are you guys yeah, using? Rumor is this this storm will exceed a billion. Shoot, yeah, I thought I heard at six hundred million the last time I heard, but yeah, I, that that sounds about right because right. you keep every my eye damage phone keeps going off and off and off like every night. Right, right. So what are you yeah. guys using to write all them estimates? <laughs> <laughs> hey, if we don't if we don't respond to something ask us again because we got a little a little bad yeah. connection there for a second what are you using to do all those estimates with we're i'm writing on uh ipad uh i also have a android tablet just because i like pain and suffering so i carry two devices at all times and, and uh we're getting our iPhone version is uh, coming out, so we are wrestling a little bit with that in the uh, beta version. So, right. and uh, I'm running around with the uh, iPad Pro, oh, which is nice. Oh, nice. This thing. nice. It, it, you throw the case on there, and it adds about double the weight easy. So it's not nice. the most friendly thing, but it sure is impressive. Yeah, it's kind of like carrying a windshield. The big, big one. The yeah. big one, yeah. I mean, it's we're looking at John's laptop right now, and this iPad Pro's I, I, probably the same size or bigger than your laptop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's like carrying the laptop screen everywhere you go. Right, <laughs> right, right, right. That's awesome, fellas. So, right, um, so I'm let's... running around using that, and then I've I've got the uh, beta version of the iPhone I'm playing around with too. Cool, cool. So let's just jump into the meat and potatoes. What's going on with Mobile Tech RX right now? What you guys got going on? Um, what do you, what do you, what do you, what's happening right now? What's the latest updates? What's the newest stuff that's going on with you? So basically we've been hammered with new guys signing up left and right. These storms in Dallas, uh, has gotten a lot of people out of, out of their house and they're getting back to work and the smart ones started playing around with the app, you know, a little while ago to get familiar with it. And then we've got all the other guys who on the job as their phones are blowing up or, or downloading it and trying to teach themselves how to use it right in the middle of the storm. And so those are all the, the phone calls that we're getting, trying to teach people how to walk them through getting started. And it's been really neat to see because we have all these guys that are able to download it, watch the tu tutorial videos and essentially teach themselves on the fly and they're still figuring it out. So it's kind of a testament to 
how easy we, we did develop this. So right now we're just in that, that mode of getting everybody learning how to use it. And then on our end, we're trying to get as many features as possible implemented as quickly as possible that guys are needing during this hailstorm as well. So we're just, we're just on the month to month update uh, schedule at the moment. Great. Now, as far as the, um, the guys who are using it and they want to set up a, a matrix. Now you're able to, you, are they able to pick different matrices or, or how do they set up their, their matrix on, on your, your app? We have eight preloaded U S hail matrices. And we also have eight Canadian matrices that have already been preloaded. Uh, we're covering most of the large PDR companies that have matrix out with agreements with insurance companies, as well as several insurance companies, hail matrixes already preloaded. And we, we will be adding more uh, in the future, as well as the ability to build your own in the future. Wow, that's pretty good because that's important. It depends on the catering of different insurance companies. Uh, I think that's really good. And you guys taken this app to a whole different level. What's the most challenging part so far along the way of, of building this app? Oh, I would, uh, other than the overall scope of it, um, the uh, subcontractor feature, making sure that we could link multiple techs along with the, to the people that they're working for, yet provide security and performance protection for each of the each of the customers uh, but still link them together and make it into a, a workable solution uh, our head programmers head about exploded as we tried to explain exactly what we wanted to do but uh, we we whipped him in shape and got him back in line and and they were able to get that produced out and uh, it's it's been a hit and it's uh, a lot a lot of our users are using it this year and they're really grateful for that feature yeah, we realize that we're in an industry of subcontractors. I mean, you do have guys that are working exclusively for other people, but by and large, most guys are are working for someone else here and there. And so we had to tailor make the program to, to suit someone to create their own account and then essentially tag in and out of other companies as they you know either worked for another company in the same city or another state. And so just to have that flexibility was just, that was uh, very challenging. Yeah. Hey, Eric, what, so you're in the middle of a storm right now and you're seeing texts. What do you see the percentage of guys using your app? Mm, well, you know, we see, you see a lot of action on probably lately on Facebook about us and we see the phone calls and the emails. And, and so if, while it feels like a lot, um, it doesn't take very much to, to, open yeah. your eyes and see that you're really just kind of scratching the surface. Yeah. How many, would you say, John, you think there's probably a thousand techs here in, in DFW? Oh yeah. I would say easily there's, there's that many techs and uh, we still run into people all the time that, that have yet to hear of us um, trying to run around whenever I'm not pushing. Uh, I'm trying to run around on the weekends, um, you know, get in there, shake some babies, kiss some hands, do that kind of stuff. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Can, can you guys – go ahead, go ahead, Daniel. Go ahead. Well, one of the things I, I noticed, you know, at, at last Mobile Tech Expo, got to see all the softwares out there. And you guys have easily have won the most attractive app. When you go look at it visually, it's more attractive. It's simple. It's very Apple-esque um, is the best way to describe it. And <laughs> it's visually pleasing. And I think that wins you big brownie points. But the thing that really set the difference this Mobile Tech Expo is when I saw the comparison. When you can actually do a comparison what a body shop would charge compared to PDR. Once once you guys hit that realm, I mean, you guys rose to the top, in my opinion. Well, thank you for that. Um, yeah, that's uh, that was a monumental undertaking by uh, the three of us just trying to compile that data and and put that into uh, one big spreadsheet. Uh, Eric it's, and I kind of compressed all the blank spots out of that spreadsheet one time 
and it uh, looked like a scene from the movie Matrix with nothing but digits flying all around us on uh, three different computer screens. It was uh, insane. <clears throat> There's, uh, when we did the math, it was like uh, 230,000 different boxes of code yeah. to come up with that wow. kind of pricing information. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was... Yeah, it was pretty big, and, and uh, uh, it was really rewarding to see it come into line, and I'm using it as I'm writing cars here, and uh, to have different adjusters coming into my shop and to uh, have that hard work come through and show that it works, and we're within that $1 to $200 zone, depending upon any of the softwares that somebody else is using. It's been great. I actually yeah. did an estimate a couple weeks ago on a, I think it was an Acura MDX, and I was it was the, it was off the matrix, you know, kind of make up your own price sort of thing, and I looked up compared to pricing, and it showed that to put a new roof on this car was it was close to five thousand dollars, and I honestly thought maybe we had made a mistake, you know, because all this was manually entry, and so we I, I have a habit of going in and double checking every time I'm working on a car just to kind of make sure our numbers are in line where they should be. And so I went into the shop and had them write me up an estimate. And sure enough, we were right there. I think it was within a hundred bucks. And it's just for whatever reason that that part price was just outrageous. And so talk hey. about negotiating power when you know that's a five thousand dollar roof. Come on, you got to shut down a, a an adjuster right then and there when you can show them that comparison, right? <laughs> you know, I haven't. I've I've not really had. Too much of an issue. What what I've done is I bring that up, and that's that's like uh, holding my cards close to my chest, mm-hmm. you know. Right? And then I yeah. uh, then I go after them, and it's like, well, what do you think that roof is going to cost? You know, if we kick that conventional, and then, right. uh, that's that's right. part of how I'm doing my my test as well. Right. Yeah. You guys. So you guys have a huge. Well, I know upper, what's what's handy is part of that uh, comparative pricing is having the X-ray photos in there and custom notes. And so if you got some of these companies are definitely they're kind of getting strong about not, not paying for glue pulling on doors or rails. And so if you're able to pull up a photo showing that that door is completely braced up on the top or if that quarter panel, if there's a note saying there's no access and it has to be glue pulled, when you bring up that picture in front of an adjuster and we've had users tell us that that's and there's no argument after that. You tell That's them the you nail, need, nailing the you know, coffin, blue pulling right? money on that quarter panel. There's zero access. Yeah. I mean, they don't have. Any, there's nothing you can say after that. Yep. Now, where do you guys actually get those X-ray pictures from? Are you taking them yourselves? Or are you taking them from social media, from technicians that are submitting them on Facebook? From uh, a, where, a, where couple, they come from? A couple different areas. Um, the uh, you guys are probably familiar with the X-ray photo Facebook group. And yeah. we talked to Keith Cosentino about that, and he, you know, a lot, I, probably six months ago, and he said, yeah, grab all, take all you want from there. So that was kind of like the base framework. I think we ended up getting like 30 or 40 pictures there. But then really, um, once we made a concerted effort to start gathering these, between, you know, there was like four or five of us running around to body shops all day, every day. And you'd be surprised how many photos you can just go, you can just rape them for photos. Yeah, I mean, you go in there to a body shop and you can find 50 photos easy. Just, you know, this car for this. You can find six or seven panels on a car, no problem. So we basically spent several months going in there and just taking them ourselves. So I would say 90% of the photos we actually just, we took ourselves. And then so, we've also started taking user submissions as well. Which we could also do that for you guys and help you guys out, uh, the technicians out there on the internet. We could We could be posting those pictures to uh the pdr x-ray group and yep. which is and, um, in return helping us out as well yeah yeah exactly yeah. and we've set up an email for that too uh photos at mobile and if you send that in uh that goes to a dedicated email where we once a week will go and grab all the photos from there right. and input it so we don't even have to do an app update it's kind of neat. We can just go into our database and plug in this photo, this photo, this photo, and then you know, five seconds later, it's live. So you may have seen one week we didn't have a picture for a panel, and then next week it's it's there. So that, we're, we need to get better about. We just we recently set that email up, and so we need to kind of get the word out there. Hey, this is yeah. a good example. So. You know, because there's there's literally 
thousands of makes and models of car. So the the more users that we have, the more photos we get coming in, uh, the the better and the faster we can build that database, and it helps everybody. And I think we're going to go ahead and set up some sort of deal where we comp uh, people's time, give them some free time uh, by submitting X amount of photos. We haven't really figured out all the details for sure on that, but uh, we'll definitely reward guys that do send them in. Okay. Awesome. And I want to, I want to, uh, you guys, I want to um, walk me through this, this, uh, I'm a hail tech. I'm getting your app and now you're going to have to go through every little step, but I mean, detail, but walk me through what they do when they get your app and they want to, they, they get hit with the storm. They want to estimate a car. How does it, how does your app work and just, uh, just run it through the, the basic process? Well, to start off, um, <clears throat> You know the the variations, but if we say that you're working a retail shop, you you're a local guy, you've got a retail shop, got the app loaded up, you bring it up, you click your new estimate. Uh, in the top left hand side, you have uh, choose a client where you could have one of your existing clients that's already in there, or create a new client. You click that create a new client, it's, it's going to bring up where you put in the all the client info. Uh, one of the things I like to do. I try to get my uh, lights all set up when I'm writing a hail estimate. So what I do is I bring up that create a new client, and then I hand my iPad off to my customer. Everybody likes to participate. So I let them fill in their name and their phone number and their email, and then I never have to mess with the spelling. I set my light up when they're done with that. I save them, and then I uh, start going down the sides get into the, the estimate screen, I scan the VIN. If it's a Chevrolet and it has the QR code, we scan the QR codes. If it's just got the barcode and the door jam, we just scan that. Brings up the year, the make, the model. We throw in the color. Then we uh, go down to the, the plus button. We hit that plus button and for a hail estimate, we're gonna move it over to the hail screen on the bottom of the, the iPad screen. You're gonna have your your choice of PDR services, hail, r &I, or parts. We're going to go into that hail screen. We're going to pick our matrix in the upper left-hand corner. We'll pick whichever matrix we're working with. If we're doing a State Farm car, we'll use the State Farm matrix. And then we start going around the car. We've got an icon on the right-hand side, and we just have a, a list and breakdown. Both sides work together. You can poke the button on the on the icon and it's going to light up green and it'll bring up the the matrix where you get to put in your dent count, your size, all of your add-ons, that sort of thing. If you're writing for a body shop, you can hold that little icon and it will go red saying that you've kicked that, that panel conventional. If it's a panel that you're not going to PDR, you want the body shop to change. Both sides of the screen are interactive. And they also change colors as you go, so you have a fast frame of reference as you're walking around the car. You get interrupted from a million sources. You can always just look down and tell which panels you've wrote, which panels you haven't. When I get done writing in all my hail panels, and I go in, I click in, and I, I add all the R and I's in, make sure I've got everything that's going to be taken apart. Uh, I go into the part screen. Right now, our part screen is pretty limited. It will continue to grow. Uh, if I put in my hood retainer clips, my corrosion protection, if I need to add a, a belt molding, I can just put in a custom line, put replace a belt molding for whichever door, the dollar amount for that belt molding, compile it up, then I can go back to the main screen. I can email that off to the customer. Or I can print that out. I can email it to the insurance. I can add up to unlimited number of photos per estimate so i can take photos of every panel on the car uh, and when you're when you're inside that hill screen that's usually when i like to at the bottom just pop left and right in between comparative pricing and hail and that way I just have really quick reference and that uh, that's nice to do too because on the comparative pricing it actually shows you which panels are aluminum and which ones are high strength steel so I know we can all tell if the panel's aluminum or not, but high strength steel. I, I, mean. I just want to say what a powerful, powerful tool to have as a hail tech because you know you're not losing money. <laughs> if anything, you know you're making more money than what you would do on a typical matrix or 
or just make up something in your head, you know, or you don't have yeah, any be surprised how, price. how many how many random panels are high strength steel, and and they're, they're right there is an extra twenty five to fifty percent depending on yeah. how aggressive you want to be. Yeah, and yep. then you have it. You have, have the upper hand. You have the upper hand uh, with the uh, with the estimator because you generally know how much that's going to cost, and you can know okay, I can write this panel pretty much at this price because this is the comparative pricing. So I kind of got an idea. Mm-hmm. So. If so, now you have an argument. If if he does want to, he or she want to uh, debate about the the cost. So you you do have, like you said, an ace in your in your cards. Hey guys, let yeah. me ask you a question. So, you know, a lot of these I, I'm not familiar with doing hailstorms. Now you got these big dogs coming in, and they've estimated a big storm. Let's say they got a big contract, and you're just a lonely tech looking for a job, and they go, okay, we're paying X amount for these cars. Are any of your techs using the software to double check the the big dog and if they're getting paid right on the job, i.e. the high strength panel, aluminum panel, you know, can can the average tech ask for more money on a car? When the big dog says, I'm only going to pay you $3,500 for this car, and it should be $4,500. Are you referring to insurance company or big dog, or are you talking about a, a hail company? I'm talking about a hail company. You're, oh, that's you're well, I think that's, that's going to be on. Yeah, that, yeah, that depends yeah, I, whether it's wholesale or retail or, you know, if they bid out a thousand yeah, that's, cars. Okay. That's, that's getting in the weeds. Yeah. The, where yeah. you can yeah, utilize yeah, that, that's, though, that's Daniel. That's much deeper than where we yeah, are. Yeah. Where you can utilize that, okay. though, Daniel, is if you walk in and you're in a body shop and the body shops write it low or the technician that's working in the body shop writes it low, maybe he doesn't know how to write proper estimates. You can actually use that as an educational tool and um, show them exactly. how yeah, you we can did write a, a proper estimate. Uh, we did a demo with, we've been going around doing demos with some of these other companies, and a good example of that is um, there was a, uh, I won't say where he's at exactly, um, but there's a guy in Texas we went and did a demo for, and we had him write up a car using his paper matrix, and I used Mobile Tech RX. His estimate came out to around 300, and the Mobile Tech estimate was almost 6,000. Mm-hmm. And this Jeez. is he's he's going to get paid on the six thousand. I mean, there's everything is totally legitimate. Everything's itemized. He's going to submit that as a supplement, and it's there shouldn't be any issues. Right. But just having that knowledge and and knowing what you can charge uh, right at your fingertips. And it's, um, it, it's a, it for that storm he's in, it's going to make a tremendous difference. It could be a six figure mm-hmm. uh, difference. And just a heads up yeah. for all of the dent trainer folks out there. Uh, we do have uh, Hail, Hail Certified, which is a dent trainer course on denttrainer.com that will guide you through every aspect of how to write a proper estimate. Um, so I, I think that is one of the most important things is that the guys just know how to, because I've seen people that you know seem to like they know how to use the matrix, but when they get in there, they don't know how to utilize some of the uh, important things like oversized dents and how to get really critical with it, how to maximize panels to get the most out of each and every panel. And um, yeah. that's something that we train. Actually, we do. We have a, an entire training course, including a test and a downloadable certificate on denttrainer.com. Uh, could you guys see that being valuable for a lot of techs out there when you when you get out there and you're you're out in the hail field, just being educated on it? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um we get a few tech support calls uh, of people that are just calling and have questions just on estimating. They've been writing on a, on a piece of paper, and now they have all this information available to them, and it almost gets a little overwhelming for them sometimes. So they'll call in and, and throw out a few questions. And I've been writing computerized estimates for 25 years now. So, uh, yeah, I've walked more than one person through, and when we try to do demos, especially during the the hail season like we're in now, uh, try to try to run through just the vastness because there is so much information available in Mobile Tech RX right. that uh, uh, sometimes sometimes guys get a little lost in all the information, and and it makes it really easy to skip a few steps. And that's part of the reason why we color coded and made those diagrams in act very active in the in the app in itself so that you got a visual reference of what you've gotten done and what you haven't done 
I think the uh, combination of you guys is your hail certification course, hail estimating course, you know, is you got to know what to do first. I think that's very important. And then, if, you know, combining that with the right tool. So maybe right. we need to put your guys' video inside of our app. Yeah, we could definitely work something out uh, uh, with that. That's a good idea. Um, hey, and just a heads up, while we're on the subject, uh, I just want to let everybody know that if you go to denttrainer.com, this is a PDR tool time exclusive, listener exclusive. Just pop in PDR tool time promo code in the yearly uh, in the yearly subscription package, and you will get a year of denttrainer.com for only $299. And just a heads up, guys, we're going to be doing Dent Trainer Live this month. So we're kicking off live events, either the end of this month or the beginning of next month. So you're going to want to get in on this because the prices are not going down. And once you get that $299 deal, you are locked in for a lifetime of your membership. So, hey, uh, get this, John and Eric. Um, I just did the math, okay? And you guys said there's 1,000 technicians there in Texas. And there was a billion dollars worth of um, damage. So it comes down to each technician should be able to walk out with a cold $1 million. <laughs> <laughs> now, hey, that's going to make I, purchasing the Dent Trainer subscription I think and. A couple of the guys down closer to. And Mobile Tech RX, like a lot easier on a lot of guys. I'm moving to Texas. <laughs> yeah, I think I think a lot of the guys down in Wiley might uh, might argue if they're going to make their cool million or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, just uh, on top of that, uh, you guys, uh, what, you listeners, uh, you guys, at Mobile Tech RX are going to have a special promo code for you listeners on PDR Tool Time. Don't forget to visit PDR Tool Time. Visit this uh, this link, and we'll also probably have. Uh, on the uh, the podcast, and we'll also have on the side of the site, you'll see Mobile Tech RX. Uh, they are going to give us a promo code. You'll punch that in, and you'll save some money on the app. On, oh, no, wait, uh, no, your... wait. I think Yo. it's 45 days free, isn't it, guys? So they Okay, act... so we'll t we can edit that. <laughs> no, 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 it's all good. I, hey, I like it. Hey, as Mike says, we'll raw dog it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I, I, will. I was like backing years. Mike up. I was like telling people he doesn't know what it means, guys. He uh, doesn't know. But, <laughs> say that again. but yeah. <laughs> hey, but here's the thing. So me, sorry for the technical difficulties. Yeah, it's yeah. Not, uh, it's it's, it's fine. Hey, promo it's not, revolution. Yeah, we can't miss that. I'm recording it. No editing happens. So <laughs> yeah. and 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 for our listeners, you know, it's important to know that you know, I that it guy. helps us out. It helps us. We want to put out some more video. We want to put out promotions. Um, and so the more you can support us, you, uh, you vent, uh, you fund that venture. Eric, Eric, John, uh, you guys still with oh, us? Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah. I, you were breaking up just a little bit. Oh, hey. we're, we're back. Up. So Eric and John, uh, what, uh, Eric, what? I'll, I'll tell you the promo code here. It's, so the promo code will be on the website, but if you're too lazy to do that, it's promo code REVOLUTION. REVOLUTION, all caps. Right. And the actual promo code is is you get your 30-day free trial, and then you get 10% off for the, for the next three months if you do decide to keep it past the free trial. Nice. Cool. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. So go to pdrtooltime.com. Go check out... That promo code, put type it in, go, or you can go straight to the Mobile Tech app when you check out on the Droid and the uh, Apple tablets and type in Revolution All Caps. So, so let me ask you guys, what what tablet are you guys recommending the most? What what's the best thing that if guys are just gonna buy this thing, they need to go buy a tablet, uh, or what should they use? All right. <clears throat> so Apple. Yeah, that's a simple answer. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, we were offered on Android tablets and iPads and our iPhone and iPhone versions coming out very, very soon. Um, the, the thing with Android is there's a little over 11,000 different variations of Android tablets. So um, we have a few users that are using some cheaper tablets, you know, because you can buy them for a little under $200. 
Uh, and they call us up and they're frustrated. They only got half the app showing. They have to scroll around the screen. Things take forever to load. I gave a demo to a gentleman here just on last Sunday where he called me. He was complaining about it. He was using a Sony tablet. But I met him, handed him my iPad, said, here, rewrite an estimate. He put his Sony down and he ordered an iPad right on the spot. Yeah, it, buy it's cheap. just that big a difference. So but buy you, cheap, get cheap results. But if you get a nicer Android tablet, you're going to be happy with yeah. it too. It's really just the cheap Android tablets that yep. kind of sucker guys the in. Google Nexus 7 and 9, Samsung Tab S2, you know, anything that's about in that comparable price range with the iPad is really going to run our app flawlessly. Yeah, buy cheap, buy twice. Right, That's right. What I say. Yeah. Now, now, yeah. guys, I know that we talked a lot about hail here, but I kind of feel like we're neglecting the door ding uh, community out there. Can you tell us a little bit about? I do know your app functions as being able to write larger dense creases, things like that. Can you tell us a little bit about the functionality and how you would approach a, a large dent removal with your app, and how would you write it? Yeah, I actually, I'm really glad you brought that up because a lot of people think that we're, you know, we, we pigeonholed our app to only work on one portion of paintless dent repair or the other. And the, the fact of the matter is, is our entire owners group is made up of either hail techs or route techs. So our app has to function well for both. And I think Eric could walk through the, the route tech work real quick here. Yeah, for the, the route stuff, it's pretty straightforward. Just you take a look at what you used to do on with paper. You'd go write a list up, get it approved, use that list to pull your keys from the key track, and at the end of the day, you're, you're getting an estimate or an invoice signed. So that's basically replicated by doing a multi-car estimate. The manager can actually sign, I'm sorry, approve and decline cars right there on the iPad on the estimate. And then from there, you, you uh, turn those into work orders, you can use that screen to grab your stock numbers uh, from the key track. And then at the end of the day, just take him one invoice that he can sign right there on the iPad. So it's pretty straightforward for the, uh, the dealership guys. Um, I think the retail actual just door dingers, that's kind of the one spot where I think we are a little bit weak on. And uh, that's going to be solved here really soon. We got Paul Corden is going to be partnering with us and we're going to actually have a whole section dedicated to large dent pricing based on Paul Corden's guide. Actually, based on his updated guide, he's got a couple new add-ons and, and new uh, formulas that he's using. So, and when you're setting up on your routes for you techs out there that do per panel pricing or per car pricing, you can load those in when you load in your clients. So when you load in your dealership clients, you can load in that per panel pricing or the per car pricing. So then when you're walking the lot, every time you bring up a car, that price automatically loads for you, saving you time in the field uh, right there. And then all the math is done for you. You don't have to keep any of those sheets. Nice. It's all just right, right in your yeah, and with, tablet. Yeah, you get a lot of uh, customization within each client. So you can even yeah. go in and add you know, a email address for the accounting department, for the parts department, all the, the used car managers. So when it comes time to send that invoice out, you can just touch two or three of those names, do it all at once. And it's really nice too, at the end of the month, when after you've done your statements and their uh, accounting department typically will call you and say, hey, I need a copy of this invoice or this invoice. Um, I had that happen to me this morning. And it's just a matter of couple taps with your finger and it's sent off to the accounting department so it's and, super easy to stay organized and the same if you're servicing a lot of different body shops and you've got multiple body shops with different labor rates you're loading those labor rates on a per client basis as well then you don't have to try to remember everything as you're bouncing around and you're getting phone calls and you accidentally write a an estimate for a too high amount you can have that all preset nice, nice. Well, the good thing is when you guys uh, do need beta testers for the retail market, you got four guys right here that will gladly <laughs> beta test because all four of us. Well, Mike doesn't well, have a yeah, shop yeah. yet. He's We're already on hooked it. up. Yeah, we already hooked up. We yeah. actually uh, we actually a dent trainer. We traded a dent trainer membership uh, to uh, to these guys here for uh, me and Mike for uh, Mobile Tech RX. So we're, we're hooked oh, up, wonderful. boys. There you go. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of. 
We got a lot you, of uh, good retail stuff coming coming in your guys' way. Um, yep. I know I spoke to Daniel a little bit about this, but the, like I said, the Paul Corden uh, pricing guide is going to be built into there. <clears throat> You'll be able to estimate a car right there in front of the customer and, and get his pricing. And with them seeing the, the clarity of how you came up with that and being able to edit it on the fly. Mm-hmm. I know we're going to be working in some scheduling uh, features in there for guys running a retail shop. Uh, really, we the kind of the next step that we're going to start touching on here in a couple months, and especially later this year, is is getting the the retail shop guys to where they feel like it was made for them too. Yep, nice. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, and maybe, I, maybe I, in the maybe in the future we can uh, talk about doing uh, motorcycle MPDR. Yeah, or we can actually just put its own little screen at the bottom and uh, uh, make it look based on your specifications. You're the guru with that. So you tell us kind of your ideas and we can put it to put it to use and uh, build it in there. So that won't be a problem at all. Yeah, for us, no, no ideas off the table. It just sure. might uh, take a little longer to get implemented. Sure. Right, right. Uh, when I was talking to I've you got guys, big ideas that keeps making our programmers heads explode every time I talk to them. <laughs> sure. But when I was talking to you guys at MTE, uh, you had also mentioned adding in wheel repair and bumper repair as well. So that's definitely one thing I'm looking forward to down the line. Yeah, those are coming really soon. So we've kind of got the next, we're going to do one big update a month at least. And we've already got April, May, June. I believe we got all the way through July planned out and we've already started working on. And you're going to see, you're going to start seeing these other services appear uh, throughout the next couple months. That's so you fantastic. should have all that all that very soon. Yeah, we're gonna we're keep growing the app. Um, we're using our customer feedback. We have a constant set of build sheets to keep going off of. Uh, we've got a full full set of pro- programmers that are always just buried buried neck deep into our system, trying to to make improvements, um, keep adding new services, refining the features. Um, so let me ask you guys make something. everything better. Let me ask you guys something. Uh, we're we're going to have to end this podcast here pretty soon, so we're running, I think, about 40-some minutes, something like that. We're getting close to an hour. Um, I want to ask you guys, where do you guys visualize yourself in the future? So I know every great entrepreneur uh, has this vision of where they want to be in the future. So where do you visualize your app and where you guys are at in the marketplace within, let's say, the next three years? Well, I, I would like to see us... Um being the leader in the industry, uh, I want to see us be the reason people come off of paper and move into the digital world. Um, we obviously were already a major player in that the hail market, but it's reaching out to the local dent guys. And my wife and I, and part of the reason why where we're at is uh, Eric and I are doing this right in my RV, sitting in an RV park. Uh, my wife and I we see ourselves we're wanting to continue to do this tra- travel and be able to go and meet more of the local route techs and introduce them to the software, show them how it can change their lives. Um, that, right. That's where I, I, I see us. I just want to see us being uh, the main nice. reason why guys come off of that paper and, and go move into the digital world. Yeah, and I would say, you know, there's – if you want to do PDR, everyone's got to have a light. There's certain things you have to have. I would like it to become to where everyone that gets into it, one of the first recommendations is you have to have Mobile Tech RX. Yeah. And I mean, everyone, it's if you want to get better, it's one of the best things you can do to be more organized. And I think it's something that you're, you're before too long, you're going to need to do just to keep up with your competition. And so if we can replicate that on a worldwide level, that's kind of what we're going for. Yeah. So we're just about to release our european we actually released silently released our european version but we haven't actually really marketed it yet so nice how's that going yeah. for you uh we just have a couple of guys sort of silently beta testing it you know it's such a little foreign to us as far as you know they it's it's not a hood it's a it's a bonnet it's a boot <laughs> and right. a wing and Wings. just making sure we get all the yeah. words right and all that everything to where it's it feels like it's set up properly for them so. and then make sure it's available in every language um, out there and some of that we get to uh, we're, we're going to copy over into the US version mm-hmm. I know we've talked about making sure that we have Spanish available uh, Spanish and French available here you know covering the, the, 
the whole of North America anyhow. Mm. Uh, yeah, so you guys, you, we probably should briefly touch on this because you guys do get international uh, listeners, I'm sure. Right. But yeah, the European version, you'll be able to write an estimate in one of seven languages and then email that estimate in another one of seven languages. Wow. Nice. So you, you, you got my boy. It's incredible. You got my boy Jordan Fisher testing it. Yep. Yep. Yes. Him, <laughs> yeah. Tony's act. Well, Jordan's just sitting in the office in the AC. Uh, uh, Tony's out actually putting it to use. Hey, that's what I do. You guys stop. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that, that's why I want to tell everybody. I was like, I wish I could say more about your app, but I don't really write estimates anymore. Um, but I am going to start fooling around a little bit more and getting out there with it and just uh, just fooling around with it. So that'd be cool. I, I tell you, it's uh, as far as somebody who's wrote a lot of estimates, uh, it was a game changer. I wrote computerized estimates, like I said, for going back 25 plus years now. And my wife and I sat down in three hours, wrote 20 cars in one stall nice. just the other weekend. Uh, wow. The speed in which we can do that, uh, it, it was crazy. I would move the car out of the stall and pull the next car in, and she would be scanning the VIN while I was setting up a light to start doing a dent count. And we just ran them through, two of us, three hours, 20-plus cars. Uh, there's no way I could have done that on any other system. It's right. just... Right. Now, with your R&I times, where, where do you gather that information from? Do you want to share that, or is it from Mitchell, or... or uh, well, how, right, right now, it's... Uh, we have a database we need to update. It's just we're kind of working in with a couple other features. So right now you're just going to see a generic time that's used for all of the all the vehicles. Um, we're going to be up. We have the information to update it to more vehicle specific, and that's based on John's you know history working in, in body shops and just kind of knowing that you know a, a headlight's a headlight. It's going to be a certain time, and if it's high end and low end car, truck, SUV, we. We did enough research to know that there's certain categories that are extremely accurate and really the big difference maker is the headliner. And so we yeah. put our time in to kind of hunt those down too. Yeah, we, yeah. we built that database um, exclusively as our own uh, for the one, one main reason. If we partnered with any of the big three that are out there and that became a main selling feature of our app, uh, there's nothing that would stop them from being able to yank the rug out from under us at any point in time. Uh, so, because we considered it, we looked at that as an option to uh, partner with CCC or ADP or Mitchell. And uh, we decided that we were best going it, going it alone and making it our right. own. And we tested it. I mean, we tested it so heavily against all three of the other systems one to make sure that we didn't look like anybody else's but stayed within those few tenths of an hour and two to make sure that it was gonna gonna write out right if we wrote a full estimate and then uh, sat down and, and wrote it on ADP and sat on Mitchell and wrote it on them and sat on CCC and wrote it on them were we gonna be price competitive and we've really tested it heavily and uh, yeah, now we're we're about ready to release that to the public and and get that feedback from you our know, customers. Yeah, yeah, so that updated R and I stuff will be out very soon. And in all honesty, here's what a lot of the guys got to realize out there: you're better off if you can just write your R and I time higher, because here's what happens: a lot of the smaller insurance companies will just pay off of your estimate, and if you get a cool adjuster, they're just going to look at your estimate and say, "Okay, I'm going to figure out a way to match it." Okay, awesome, but. If you get another company who will come out there and do their job, look, they're requiring you to write your estimate based on a system they choose. So why not just throw down your R&I times in there, make them a little bit higher than what, what they normally would be, and let them guys do their freaking job and rewrite it with their R&I times. I mean, I, yeah. I haven't had a problem yeah, with any, it. Yeah, any, any portion of our app, too, is... Uh, pretty much clickable and number changeable. So you can you can kind of bury it around. Yeah, I mean, worst case scenario, they come back and put it to what they say it should be. Right, and just yeah. change it on your end real quick. Yep. Right, yeah. right. And, and, um, and, you know, it's saddened, but the same guys who will tweak your estimates down on their R&I time, they actually, because they got to follow by the book, if you were a little bit low, they'll bring them up, you know? 
Um, at least that's been my experience. I have never had somebody try to squeeze me out of R and I time. I've had the guys come in and say, "Uh, well, we're a little low on this dent, but our R and I time was a little bit more on this headliner, or this, uh, this, you know, sunroof or something like that." So, yeah, and I've I've experienced the same same thing. So, and that's part of what what led us. And then just over the years, I started just watching. Um, was calling it out and it's something that Eric and I discussed and, and we decided, you know what, we can, I think we can build this, uh, build this R and I matrix. And so we did it. And, uh, all right guys. So we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. Give us the promo code again, uh, for our listeners out there and, and just tell them what they get. So promo code revolution. And that is all caps. It is case sensitive. So you need to enter. If you don't, Put it in all caps. It'll tell you it's wrong. So revolution, all, all caps. You get a month free. If you decide to keep it, you're going to get 10% off your entire month's bill for the next three months. All right. And if any and of you, you can log in, uh, you can download the app from the App Store or Google Play Store. You can sign up to create your free account on mobiletechrx.com. You know, I think you guys can wrap this up with, with one answer. You get your app, you make more money. Simple. Nice. <laughs> and get... Get your app sure. before you get to the to the storm, yeah, so you know, know how app. to use it. Know the app before <laughs> yeah, get, you start get using practicing. it. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's a wrap. Hey, John. Hey, uh, 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 Eric. Appreciate you guys. Um, really enjoyed having you guys along for this podcast, and I think you opened up a lot of insight for the listeners out there on choosing to use your product. So we appreciate you guys, and thanks, Vince and yeah. uh, and Daniel. Thank yeah, you. Thanks, thanks, thanks for, for having us, guys. Us. Yeah, oh. that was great. We really appreciate it. All right, guys. And remember, level up your tools. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and cut out of here. We will see you on the next one. All right. John, what do you have to say? Yep. PDR Tool Time. Join the revolution. And a quick reminder here, the promo code for DentTrainer.com, the yearly gold subscription, is PDR Tool Time. That's going to get you one year of DentTrainer.com for only $299. This will lock you in to that $299 price for life. So you get yearly renewals at only $299. Normal price for this package is $499. We will be running this special until the end of April 2016. Uh, Once again, visit DentTrainer.com.